Yung tinutukoy ba na uh, child food poverty, um, gano'ng kalaki ang problema yan dito sa Pilipinas? Yes, but na- child food poverty is a, is a relatively, uh, it's sumisikat siya ngayon, and relatively new concept po sa uh, child food poverty. But a lot of poverty uh, incidences no, are being measured naman in the Philippines. But this is introduced to us by uh, UNICEF. In a recent publication by UNICEF, uh, child food poverty is basically, um, essentially by definition, is the children under five uh, inability to access and consume a diet that is nutritious and diverse. Po, no? Highlight on being diverse na diet for children under five. Mm-hmm. Now, child food poverty is a, a problem in the Philippines because we have seen ano po, no, ang stunting or yung pagkabansot uh, ng mga batang Pilipino is still high in the Philippines. Although nag-decline so for the past years, uh, minimal decline in the past years. However, it's still uh, very, uh, it's still considered of high public health significance in the Philippines. Yung pagkabansot natin, which is a chronic form of malnutrition, meaning mm. it's a form of malnutrition that is caused by pangmatagalan na ano na problem on the food system and the nutrition system and child food poverty is essentially measures po yung dietary diversity na nakakain ng mga bata natin na under five mm-hmm. now siguro let's define po very quickly what child food poverty is mm-hmm. now by definition child food poverty we have these recommended food groups no kasi nga again the highlight on diverse mm-hmm. diversity no ang diet no uh, so it has to come from yung diet ng bata should come from a lot of food groups now there are eight food groups recommended. This is globally um, accepted recommendations on children not to meet. Now, we have eight food groups. Una-una dyan, breast milk. Now, mm-hmm. for six to five, uh, six months to five years old, the mga bata, breast milk is still very much um, recommended. Now, for the first six months of life, exclusive breastfeeding. But for at the start of six months, we recommend already complementary feeding. Mm-hmm. So, dapat kumakain na yung bata mm-hmm. ng angkop doon sa edad niya. So, breast milk, first food group. Pangalawang food group is tinatawag natin grains, roots, and tubers. So, in the Philippines, no grains, roots, uh, mga uh, kamoting kahoy, mga patatas, no rice even is part of that food group. So, it should be consumed uh, by a child. Pangatlo, we have a vitamin A-rich fruits and vegetables. And what belongs to that? No, vitamin A rich, you have your carrots, your tomatoes, your tomatoes, and even some uh, leafy green vegetables. And even manga, even, no, can uh, can be a source of vitamin A, um, watermelons, and these are the things that can be vitamin A sources. Pang-apat, our uh, flesh foods, kung tawagin, or yung mga meats natin, no, isda, uh, uh, chicken, uh, pork, and even beef, no, can be a source of uh, food items for our children. And also other Protein sources such as our legumes and nuts, mga butong gulay, uh, mga mani, no, so be a source of protein and other minerals. And then, um, pang-anim natin, you have your eggs, no, which is uh, an essential source of protein as well. Pang-pito, other fruits and vegetables. Yung mga fruits and vegetables na hindi natin na-mention kanina should be consumed as well by a child. And then, lastly, uh, yung dairy and dairy products natin. So, gatas and products na hango sa gatas. No? So, hmm. out of these eight, no, child food... Uh, dapat makamit ang bata na less than 5 years of age ng lima out of these eight. Now, if the child meets five, uh, a minimum of five, five to eight of these food groups or nakain niya in a day, no, uh, yung pagkain niya comes from five to eight of these food groups, mm-hmm. then child food poverty does not exist. No, So essentially, that's oh. it. So, but if four or less ang nakain ng bata of these food groups, then child food poverty um, exists. No? And why is this important? Because from six months of age onwards, diverse diets essentially are more likely to provide yung mga essential nutrients ng bata no? uh, na kailangan ng bata in the first five years of life. And we have stressed about uh, first 1,000 days of life. I'm pretty sure uh, si Mamu, uh, Papu Jules and Mamu Tintin yeah. are very much aware of the first 1,000 days of life. Yes, of mm-hmm. course. Uh, this oh. is a very critical period po no, na it's stress natin from pregnancy up to two years of age uh, ng bata. But this extends, the critical period extends as well to the first five years of life. Hang- hanggang mag-five ang bata. Because um, kung ano-ano ang pagkain at kung paano pinapakain at kung paano kumakain yung bata in this period, uh, determines a lot no, of their survival even, and even uh, your physical growth and development, cognitive and brain development. Because in the first five years of life, po, no, let's focus on the brain development. In the first five years of life, 90% of the, the weight 
noong or the weight and size of the adult brain develop. So 90% ng brain natin is develops in the f- first five years of life. Uh, in the first two years of life, actually around 75%. So which is why um, first 1,000 days is very important. Mm-hmm. Pagdating ng four to six years of life, around 90% of the brain uh, develops. So salagang essential yeah. na bigyan natin ng proper mm-hmm. nutrition during the first mm-hmm. five years of life. Because this is the time when um, rapid growth of the brain is developed, is, is is going on or may rapid yeah. growth of the brain. So we have to supply that with the essential nutrients na meron tayo. So which is why there is a stress no, for this. Child food poverty is becoming such a uh, a critical issue no, yeah. uh, around the globe. And we have to ensure that this does not exist no, uh, in the first five years of life. Mm.